right? So it is actually 92 degrees outside right now. And ooh, boy is boy does that feel good. So I'm cleaning out the intake manifold. There's no easy way to hold this fucker. I don't even know if this is going to be framed properly. Right now. Uh, I get the EGR passage cleaned up. And then... I'm not sure how or... If I should clean the inside, probably should. But, uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Let's get to it. I probably drifted off the screen right there. So, when dealing with parts cleaner and other uh, dangerous chemicals that, uh, like solvents and such, um, always remember your PPE. Remember your PP. Because this shit says, like, fatal if swallowed and stuff. It doesn't really matter because it's just gonna get dirty again anyways, but it felt like it. Pen light. Now I have to um, <clears throat> dispose of this residue. I have to figure out how to do that legally in Maryland. It's hot. I'm in a rush. I've got the legs are all different lengths now. It's just terrible, isn't it? Ow. I just pinched my finger. Oh, how could it get any worse? Got the intake manifold already clean. All cleaned. Um, I gotta first. Cause I, Pretty sure these just come right out. These boys, the spark plugs. Yeah, they just slide right out. Cool. So I'm ordering replacements. They should be here in like a week. Ta-da! Yeah, these are all rusty. I don't trust them. You're supposed to replace them anyway. Fuck, it's hot. business. We don't have any AC right now, <laughs> so whatever. So I, this is my uh, stuff I use at work. It's just a uh, shatter-free shatter-free glasses and a uh, respirator. Yep.
forbidden cola. At the end of all that. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna need a new wire brushes. This one's just like uh, horse hair or something, but this one is brass, which is what really helped me cut through all that grime. Man, that EGR valve, like cleaning that out, really fucked up the tip. God. Alright. <clears throat> it's been a week, I haven't done shit. Alright, because. Dun dun dun. Something weird happened with my phone just now. I forgot that it was recording and went black or something. And also these. So, I got new hoses for my radiator to match the car. We extra bonus. I got these are uh, fuel injectors, spark plug wires. They're also red because they match the car. We added bonus. And then this is the transmission plate for my specific model. See, it's some, usually it comes up at a, at a right angle here, but instead it's a little slope for whatever reason. This goes onto the transmission. Um, it's just that this big gear right over there. See, it goes like that. Now, for the exciting part. Okay, okay, so I have a thing for this. Everything. So this, I got this, I found this in a junkyard in, let's see if I can turn the flash on. There we go. Found this in the junkyard in Baltimore when I was going with my brother. I can get it with one hand. Bing, uh, maybe. Ah, fuck. First there was a pen. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. I think I'm gonna just push it down farther. There it is, there it is, there it is. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on. So, there we go. Bam. Aha. Zip tie. You may be wondering what this contraption is. Where the hell did it go? It's questions I ask myself on a daily basis. It smells like shit out here. I'm like, fuck! God damn it. I had it. I had some things. I had some stuff. Oh, it smells like gasoline. Hell. I had a little pink bucket, and in the little pink bucket there was some spray of some kind. There's, there it is, like underneath these old boxes that I'm going to use, which I'm about to tell you about. So I got these things. They're called rust reformer and rust dissolver. So these parts, there's one missing. I'm going to scrub these old tools and I'm going to spray them with reformer and dissolver. Well, this will be a bath, but whatever. This right here is my spray booth for this so that any uh, overspray just 
It doesn't go into the environment or anything, it just goes right onto the card cardboard. I want to start with the big one first, because that's going to be the craziest thing to do. I'm going to have to tape up the O2 sensors. I'm going to have to cover the catalytic converter in a plastic bag. I'm going to have to tape off all the holes to the interior so that they don't get any spray or uh, mess around with the gasket at all. Next, I'm probably going to get the, uh, the forks done. I'm going to have to tape off the inside of the clamp and probably also the screw holes. So I wasn't sure about the axles at first because it's kind of expensive to get. It's not so much expensive, it's more like just stupid. So I, I didn't really need to. Like they look fine, they've been driving fine, they don't make any noise. Like, so I'm just gonna just scrape a little bit of the axle and then uh, spray that. And the EGR sensor is just gonna get a quick coat. Just gotta tape off the upper, uh, the upper half of the body, and then some brackets. And I'm just gonna clean off the rest of this stuff in these bags. Got some runs, but whatever. 